When I outlined the new TCR project, one of the things that was not at the top of the list was simply to be the lightest bike in the world. Anybody can make a light bike. The tricky part is how do you make a light bike that still handles well, that still sprints well, that still climbs well, that still corners well. That's the balance that very few people, if anybody outside of Giant, have been able to figure out. The overall goal of this product was really stiffness to weight. And I'd say the overall general design theme was scale up, slim down. If you remember from a lot of the previous generations of TCR, we had big section down tubes, a lot of these robust shapes, and we wanted to keep that. But we really wanted to slim down the overall form and optimize every tube shape for what this bike is all about. Sprinting, climbing, and really that greatest stiffness to weight ratio that we could possibly come up with. One of the key aspects of the stiffness in the TCR is the torsional stiffness. Torsional stiffness is directly related to your cornering ability. TCR has been known since its inception to be an incredibly stiff, very well handling, very good cornering bike. The geometry and the handling of the TCR has been well known for a long time to be some of the best in the entire cycling industry. Whether it's from a pro rank, an amateur, an everyday rider, it doesn't make any difference. The geometry works for everybody. And by utilizing our connection with the pro tour teams, we've actually been able to improve the geometry in just small, minor ways to make it much better for the end user. One of the things that I still feel is the heartbeat of this product is the power core bottom bracket. When you push the pedals, it just goes. You don't notice any flex whatsoever in the frame, and that's something as a climber you really want to feel. You want to know that every single pedal stroke you're taking is to the efficiency of you getting up that climb. For the new TCR, we've concentrated on a lot of the transitions, one of those being the fork into the actual frame. We have a new bearing height, which sits higher up on the steer tube and into the head tube. What this does is it helps translate a lot of those forces directly into the down tube, making the bike that much more stiff. One of the most noticeable features is our new variant seat post. There's a delicate balance between achieving the right compliance and also keeping that racy feel. Through constant analysis, we were able to identify a new shape that works perfectly one of the things you notice about the new TCR is the routing of the rear brake cable. It enters in from the right side and actually cuts a diagonal line across the top tube to exit out behind the ISP. This helped create the most optimal braking possible and also eliminated any rattling that might take place in the top tube. We've always had a close relationship with our team and we're constantly relying on our feedback to help develop the best products possible. There's a lot of factors that go into what kind of bike you want, and some of the biggest ones are, are how much it weighs, the stiffness of it, the responsiveness of it. I think what the TCR has to offer is that it's, it's top of the category in, in each of those. Incredibly stiff, you can turn on a dime with it, so all around it's a great bike, really happy to be on it. I think one of the best things about the latest TCR project was being part of a legacy. It's a strong legacy that I actually admired before I worked at Giant and before I had a chance to put my hands in there and really start to work on it with the team and develop something that is truly world class. Climbing, attacking, descending, the new TCR is my total race bike. <laughs>